What's up, guys? We're going to stab an odd mouth in there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Um, in this episode, um, I'm going to be putting a Saturn alternator on the DSM. Um, now, last dyno session that I had, uh, they actually couldn't dyno the car because the alternator crapped out. So um, I replaced the alternator with a AutoZone new one. I, I believe it was brand new. And one second, bro. And that didn't charge. That was even worse than the old one I had on here before. Um, and actually, what, when I did the alternator, I also did the starter. Um, and that crapped out within like literally four starts. So I got a new starter and a Saturn alternator. Um, and hopefully we'll make something happen. I ain't got my hood wood. There's the alternator right down over there. Um, yeah, about to pop that baby off. From here, I can definitely see that one of the ears broke off on the starter. We're both in. I'm pretty sure that the other one's broken off too, obviously, because it's laying on top of my axle. Um, so, I guess, way to go AutoZone. So like I said, I just replaced this thing, but it's, it's brand new, but it doesn't work. Um, now, the reason I cut these wires is uh, I'm just gonna run a new four gauge wire from from uh, the alternator to where my uh, battery positive is in the engine bay. And I believe this, this uh, alternator from the Saturn should be almost a direct bolt in. Um, I, I think there's a little bit that I got to grind off on the block or something. Uh, I'm going to try to just test fit it and uh, see what I got to take off the block. There's a whole write up online, but uh, I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know which, which wires we need and where to connect them in here. Um, and that should be a simpler and uh, more reliable system. Uh, I just got the test fitted the alternator on here and uh, it looks like all I have to grind is just how this piece is a square back here. I just gotta grind it smooth to be a circle, kind of like it is up front over here. Um, and then the alternator should fit and everything should be good after that. So let's get the grinding. I got the block ground down. So the alternator fits now, the bolts go through it and everything. So that's all good. Um, now I gotta wire it in. So um, I looked online for um, so looked online for a, a wiring schematic, how to wire this in exactly. Um, and I found one that was different than the others and claims to be better. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is run one of these, uh, just a wire, all the way to the trunk. Uh, right by the battery kind of I got a distribution block back there um, I'll run this into that block um, and supposedly it's supposed to tell the alternator when the voltage drops all the way back there so it could work harder um, rather than putting it somewhere up here uh, where I guess it, it, I guess it reads better so um, I'm not too familiar with this so I'm just gonna trust this guy um, so I guess what I gotta do is uh, connect this wire into the S terminal on the alternator um, and connect um, a switch 12 volt or, and connect the black and yellow wire on the factory harness into the L terminal uh, on the alternator. So. I'm gonna do that, um, and I'll, I'll leave a write-up in the description of uh, exactly what wire I connected to where. 
uh, so you guys can follow it a little better than just me reading off of here. So, oh uh, man, hopefully it'll work. And yeah, let's get the wiring. Um, I don't have a connector for this alternator. Um, it does say online that you can buy it at like AutoZone or, or I think it says Advanced or O'Reilly's. So um, I just kind of did this for now. I mean, they're, they're, they shouldn't come out. So I'll just keep that for now and then just get the connector eventually and swap it out. But I think now it's going to be time to cut this factory uh, connector off. It, it looks like crap anyways. It's all broken. And uh, I think I'm just going to be using one of these wires. I think it should just be a 12 volt switched wire. And this wire right here which I'm gonna run through the car and into the trunk. Um, and after that, we should be ready to test it. I'm just gonna have to swap the starter out real quick. Uh, hopefully that doesn't take long. I'm not sure because it completely broke off. I hope it's just the starter ears that broke. I know one of them is, but I don't know about the other one. Hopefully it's not the trans that broke. That would, that would be bad. Got the alternator all on there uh, it's all hooked up the only thing i got to do is uh, i ran the wire that's going to go into the trunk uh, i ran it into the car so now i just got to throw it in the trunk um and now i just got to put the new starter in uh izzy was kind enough to uh take this one off for me so originally i thought that uh just the solenoid stopped working so the starter wasn't clicking and it was just spinning um but uh, after I, I lifted the car up, I already showed you guys, but here's the, a close-up of the starter. So there's the ear broken off there. And the same thing on the other side. So that's why it wasn't working. So now I guess let's just hope that this next one doesn't break off like that. I mean, I literally cranked that one maybe like four or five times and that's what happened. So fingers crossed for this next one. All right, guys, so we got Izzy's car uh, jumping the eclipse. And I just finished putting the, the starter back in. So I just threw that wire above everything, kind of just to see if it'll work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Um, and then we'll take the jumper cables off and see what kind of voltage we're putting out. Oh, here we go. Thank God. <laughs> 